Hello guys, welcome back to my channel BFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to import EXR sequence into the Vinci Resolve. And also we will see how to export EXR from Nuke and import into the Vinci Resolve. So now we are inside Nuke. So this is our actually uh, just a green screen shot and this is our output here. So now just I am going to export as a EXR sequence. So for this, just simply just we have to take a right note. Simply just press W and just take a right node and attach with this right node and just press 2. So now just I am going to render this output in EXR format first. So I'll double click on this right node and click on this file and just select your folder where you want to save this EXR file. So this is our main folder. Inside this I have created this EXR folder. So just we have to select downside we have to give a file name then dot and 4 has then dot EXR. Now we have to click on save, then finally we have to click on this render and just we have to select over this maybe global or simply just you can type your sequence range. Now just we have to click on ok. So now just I am creating over this first EXR sequence, then after this we will also create a PNG sequence. Then finally we will import all these files inside the Vinci Resolve. So now I have exported over this EXR sequence, same as just I am going to also export our PNG sequence. Then again just select your folder, so this is actually PNG folder, just give a file name, then dot for has, then dot PNG. Even if not, you can also export in JPEG or in TIFF format, so just finally again we have to click on render, again just we have to render this PNG sequence. So now render has completed, now after this just I am going to import all these sequences inside WNC Resolve. So now we are inside the Vinci Resolve and this is default interface of the Vinci Resolve and downside you will get different types of these tab maybe cut, edit, fusion, media all these tabs here. So simply just we have to click on this edit tab and just we have to import all these files and just we have to place into our this timeline. So for this again just we have to open our folder. So now we are inside our the Vinci Resolve folder and these files just I have exported from Nuke. So this is our EXR sequence and this is our actually PNG sequence. So first just I am going to import over this PNG sequence. So just simply select and just drag and drop this folder into over this timeline here. So simply just we can select and just drag and drop. So this is our actually PNG sequence. So just and second just I am going to import over EXR sequence. Okay. So simply just select this EXR sequence folder and just drag and drop into over this timeline here. So now if you will see this is our actually PNG sequence and there is our EXR sequence. So inside the Vinci Resolve actually this EXR sequence is not looking at this PNG sequence or at inside Nuke. So if you will see all these files inside Nuke, so this is actually final output here. Now if you will see inside the Vinci Resolve, so inside Resolve actually this EXR is not looking at this PNG here or at our final output here. So how we can resolve all these problems here. So for the first just I am going to import all these files inside Nuke and we will see the problem. So now we are again inside Nuke, so again press R and just import all these renders here, whatever just you have rendered from Nuke. So now if you will see this is our EXR and this is our actually output, so press 1 and 2. So now inside Nuke both are same. So the problem only inside the Vinci Resolve. So how we can actually just correct this one here. So simply this is actually problem due to our color space. So what we can do, so simply go to this media tab. So again this is our actually EXR sequence and this is our PNG sequence, okay. So now just we have to right click on this EXR sequence, then click on this LUT, L-U-T, then downside you will get this VFX IO and just we have to select over this linear to comma 2.2. So now if we will compare with our this PNG sequence and this EXR both are now looking same. Now just go to this edit tab and just simply just we can see. So now this is our PNG sequence and this is actually EXR sequence. Now inside this timeline both are looking same. Even if you are importing a video, you can see this is actually MOV file. So now if you will see all three files are identical or same. So guys like this just simply you can import your EXR sequence into the Vinci Resolve and you can also connect your color space if you are getting this problem. So again just go to this media, then right click on this EXR. Then go to this LUT and simply just you can VFX IO and just you can select this option. 
सो गाइज टिल यर लाइफ कंप्लीट वर्ड दिस क्लास सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू आर स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग